Our first guest tonight is a talented actor and comedian you know from shows like Community and The Masked Singer and films such as The Hangover, Knocked Up, and Crazy Rich Asians. He stars in The Pentaveret, which is streaming now on Netflix. Let's take a look. This is awesome, man. I've always wanted to be kidnapped. It's been one of my dreams. So, bucket list. <laughs> you guys mind telling me where we're going? No? OK, cool. Spoils the mystery. Yep. Respect. Apply the blindfold, please. Blindfold. OK, yes, please. <laughs> My safe word is Excelsior. Oh, oh it's the pilot. Why is it on the pilot? Is this like a Fifty Shades type deal? Please welcome back to the show our good friend, Ken Jeong, everybody. So good to be here live. It's so lovely to have you here live. God, the last few times it's been we've over zoomed, Zoom. We've Zoomed it a few times. It's great to have you here in person. It's also, oh, yes. uh, they were very lucky to have you in person. In Sacramento, you were honored yes. for uh, Asian American Pacific Islander Month. Yeah, there, there is, um, in, in California, they uh, it's Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and they honored uh, seven honorees in excellence in, in different in different fields where there were it was activism, mine was overacting, and so <laughs> it was really <laughs> great. <laughs> and um, and it, it was it was such an honor. And, and I also um, uh, in, in all seriousness want to thank you because I think the last time I was on the show via Zoom, um, we were you let me talk about you know just in terms of what had happened in Atlanta a year ago yep. and all the various efforts to stop Asian hate. So thank you for giving me oh, the platform course. and thank you for continuing to raise awareness on on all issues. So, well, thank, so you thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. No, no, that's. So, I'm. Um, yeah. So I will you. say I'm a little I'm a little jealous. Uh, you got to do this show uh, with Mike Myers. This is a uh, the Pentaveret is a Mike Myers show. Six episodes. Yeah. Where Mike plays eight characters, and only Mike <laughs> Myers yeah. could play more characters than actual episodes. <laughs> yes. In my career, I can barely play one. <laughs> like yeah. you know. Yeah. And so to honestly, it was one of my favorite projects I've ever been involved in in my life because. Mike is one of my heroes. He's one of the reasons I got into comedy. He's one of the reasons I left my, my day job, you know, as a doctor. <laughs> He's that powerful in my worldview. Yeah. You know, I will leave the most stable field of medicine <laughs> only through the power of a Mike Myers <laughs> that will allow me to overact and get an excellent award yeah. in Sacramento. I That's what like, I'm saying. I you like know? you telling. <laughs> West Side, yeah. I like you, uh, just the idea of you telling the head of uh, uh, the medical institution that yeah. you were leaving and then like showing a picture of Fat Bastard and being like, it was him. It was him. This man made a very convincing case. I'm going to get inside his <laughs> belly. Yeah. <laughs> and he wrote this part with you in mind, which yeah. is, I mean, what, a, what high praise. I can't, I mean, uh, the whole thing has been so surreal to be a part of and now so sublime. To even talk about it, it I, I've, I've known Mike for a few years since the days of him hosting the Gong Show. Yeah, he was playing a character, also Tommy Maitland. So we got to be good buddies, just hanging out afterwards. Afterwards, they would always have like when, when we'd wrap it, they they turned the whole stage system at Sony into a into a bar. That's fantastic. And so like so I li and I literally went on the Gong Show I think six times just so I could drink with Mike Myers. Yes, <laughs> that was my only goal. And so we would hang out and talk. And then he, a couple of years later, he wrote it. He told me he wrote a part with me in mind. And of course, I was just like, I'll be your medic. I'll do whatever yeah. you want. And it just to watch his process, truly, he's the goat in terms of like, he's not just the star, he's the showrunner. He yeah. is the guy, it, literally on the call sheet, it says showrunner Mike Myers. So when he's writing and creating his own universe, of all these characters with his specificity and tone. I, I, and then he's so involved like in the post and the marketing of it. Just I've never seen a more complete performer in comedy 
than Mike, and it's just he. I, it, it truly is again just an honor to be a part of. Yeah, it. the My few the few times I've I've been lucky enough to to be in a room with him, you realize there's this incredible attention to detail yeah. and how hard he works to make it look as easy as he. It, makes it, 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 look. it was like it was like almost like improv comedy summer camp for me. It really yeah. didn't matter to me what my involvement was at the end. I just wanted. He was like coaching me and guiding me through it, and, and then, then uh, super, and he gave me a wig. He gave me a super yeah. fun wig. <laughs> he gave me a super. The kind of wig you probably should have. I probably, yeah. yes. You know, I think I think I could be an influencer with that wig. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. I think I could. I'd TikTok. listen to what this guy had to say yes, about uh, yes. Like vacation spots and skincare. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Take care of the pores, yo. Um, and... I, you know, with you and uh, with you and Mike involved, I thought there might be a chance for some nudity. And, uh, <laughs> and there is. And there, and there is. But, Ken, I'm a little heartbroken. Why? It wasn't you. What? I, the shocking part of the nudity is that I'm not nude in it. Yeah. It's out front. Yeah. It's progressive. Yeah. Been there, done that for a lot of money. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, so it really was just, again, watching, watching Mike go is something else. Yeah. And uh, uh, the SNL um, uh, makeup genius, yes, Louis. Yes, shout out to Louis yeah. Zak uh, Zakarian. Zakarian. Yes, yes. He uh, he does all the all the prosthetics and makeup on SNL. They, they he flew in I think right after the finale to London and to see hair and makeup to see British hair and makeup. Oh no, King Louis coming! Oh, we've got <laughs> we've got to be careful. You know, like oh, yeah. you know, they had the red carpet out for him, yeah. and it was just he is the nicest, most humble guy. Yeah. And honestly. This pentaveret to me is just as much Louis' show as it is Mike's because you really get to see all the work and all the hours that it takes to play the different characters. I, I can't say enough great things about both Louis and, and Mike. It's just, it was just I, I'm just so I'm just so honored. Um, I was very talk. excited to hear uh, uh, Apple TV's uh, The After Party's coming back for a second season. Even more excited to hear that you're uh, joining the cast. For yes, season two. thank That's you. Great. No, I just hot out the presses. Got announced. I'll be uh, in season two of The After Party uh, uh, by the geniuses. Uh, Chris Miller and Phil Lord. Yeah. They did Lego Movie, Cloud with a Chance of Meatballs. Great guys as well. Great guys, and I, I, it's, it's, it's actually me and my wife. It's our, it's our favorite show to binge watch, and we, I literally was just watching it. And Ben Schwartz is a, is a buddy of mine. I'm watching, and he just, just steals the season for me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, it's my favorite show. I wish I was, I was relevant and young enough to be on that, you know, that kind of show. And it, just to get. To get the call to be a part of it again is just so I'm gonna surreal. ask a, a true question. Yep. Will your wife be less inclined to watch it if you're in it? <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> Good job, everybody. The Ben Tavern is streaming now. On Netflix.